failure was not an option. My priorities are crystal clear. They single-handedly cornered every member of the legislature individually. Kim immediately started going over the different proposals. We wanted to show that domestic violence homicide was a serious issue. No longer is it going to be acceptable for Louisiana to be one of the unsafest places for a wife. That is a portion of a powerful documentary, Five Awake. It follows five Louisiana women during their fight for more protections for women who are victims of domestic abuse. And the film will be presented next week at the Association of Women's Health Obstetrics and Neonatal Nurses Convention here in New Orleans. And joining us now is former Senator Mary Landrieu, who will be hosting these five women in a panel discussion to discuss the film. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you, Sally, for having me. And that convention is going to be over 5,000 nurses from around the country, nurses who are at the bedside of women delivering babies and helping them through their pregnancies giving just, you know, really the extraordinary care that we all deserve at that time. Well, tell us about Five Awake and, and what this, how this all came about. Mm -hmm. Well, the Nurses Association, which is the premier association in the country, chooses a subject or a movie every year to help educate their members. And so when I knew that they were coming to New Orleans, I suggested that they look at Five Awake, which is really an extraordinary documentary that we should all really be aware of in New Orleans because our women helped to create it. Four of the five, um, Helena Moreno, Char Charmaine Cassiope, Kim Sport, known to many people in this community for their extraordinary work. And it's won the Los Angeles Film Festival Award. It won the New Orleans Short Documentary. It's been winning awards all over the country and calling attention to a very important issue, which is domestic violence. And, and that is because the people who are involved in this, they saw the consequences of domestic violence. Absolutely, and that's one of the most amazing stories or parts of this whole uh, story is that Charmaine Cassiope was personally touched and many people in the communities of Lafouche and Terrebonne by a horrible murder that occurred by a deranged person with a gun who was angry with his wife, ended up killing and maiming and injuring for life many members of the family, tragic in Lafouche and Terrebonne some years ago. Kim Sport's sister was a victim of stalking and domestic violence. These two women just woke up one day, literally just woke up and said, this is enough, we cannot tolerate it. So Kim is a lawyer, Charmaine as a policy expert, having worked for Bennett Johnston for many years and understood the political process, got together, framed a political agenda, and then mobilized all the women in our community to march to, the, to uh, Baton Rouge and demand that the laws be changed. Helena Morena handled the legislation, so she's a star of the film. Uh, one of the stars of the film. And it's just a wonderful story, Sally, yeah. about how one woman can make a difference. And the results? The results are amazing. They passed all of their legislation within the, f the first session. Give us some of the highlights. Okay, some of the highlights would be uh, no, bot no longer can someone buy a gun or have a gun that's convicted of domestic violence. If you are convicted of domestic violence twice, the penalties are severely increased working with the sheriffs to make sure in some parishes they're automatic arrest for abusers. And I think people would be shocked, absolutely shocked to know that more women are killed in the United States um, than all of the wars combined in Afghanistan and Iraq. All the soldiers killed in a decade. There are almost twice as many women killed in this country by people that say they love them or at some point in their life said they love them. It's just tragic. And we turn a blind eye to it in so many places. So watch the movie, um, you know, go online, look at it. It's called Five Awake. Mm -hmm. And then when the community rallies to continue to press for even additional legislation, we need to close the loophole on stalking, for instance, in our state and around the country. And uh, Mary, I want to talk to you now about what's going on in Congress. Uh, uh, you're watching this now from the outside. What is your opinion of what's going on in Washington these days? Well, let me focus on the Senate, uh, if I could. I know okay. that better than the House. It's really quite sad, in a way, because I know these senators personally, many of them. And there is a way to improve the Affordable Care Act and provide insurance in an affordable way, provide health insurance in an affordable way for all Americans. You don't have to repeal Obamacare in order to fix it. 
you can repair it, you can add some things. For instance, the subsidies for middle class families, because you're trying to get insurance lower so that people can pay for it and keep it and then be covered. Well, for some families that, let's say, make over $100,000 a year, which sounds like a lot of money, but in some places isn't, you could raise the subsidies to help them. Um, there are ways that you can make the exchanges work better in you rural areas. You think people can work across well, lines? Well, you would hope so, because our senators, most certainly, our two senators, Senator Kennedy and Senator Cassidy, should know how to do that. And they could work across party lines to try to figure out solutions. So it is, it is troubling. And people back to Five Awake, people are interested in seeing this film, they can do they what? They can Google online, Five Awake, you'll see a lot about it. And, uh, and the woman that produced the movie, I just found out, is moving to New Orleans. So we have a great <laughs> new uh, citizen in our state that Wonderful. hopefully will do more documentaries like this. Mary Landry, so nice Thank to have you, you so here. Thank you so much. Thank you.